Vic Newfield, President and CEO of Afria Inc. is joining us here on Small Cap Power. Vic, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, lots happening at the company. Can you give us an update on your recent investments? Wow. Um, our center of excellence here in Canada is a, a very big step for us. Uh, absolutely necessary if one understands the end oil products necessary for infused products going forward when Health Canada expands that footprint. So it, it's very important to have technology of equipment that allows for product innovation. Uh, on the international front, uh, yes, we've made acquisitions in, in Latin America, very important to us, Argentina, Colombia, and uh, even um, in, uh, placeholder uh, Rofer on Brazil. These are countries where medical is driving the bus and it's part of the Afria DNA. So this is absolutely uh, imperative for us to look at countries, enter countries that have existing infrastructure and have people, uh, teams that have already been built. So when you do the strategy, you're confident that you've got the execution. You've recently signed up a letter of intent with Perennial. Mm -hmm. What are the synergies there? So, um, a bit premature, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to scratch the surface. Perennial and the talent and expertise they bring, uh, they are brand creators. They, they do the architecture of a brand, bringing it to life. So Perennial, for example, is the powerhouse behind Coke Canada, Royal Bank. So there's a lot of skill and, and uh, expertise. And that's what we were looking for. Who could, who could be one of us? Who could uh, bring their strengths into our campus in Leamington to do R&D? Um, and R&D is just not about a new brand, but it's the quality of the product. Because you can put lipstick on a bottle and sell it once, but if you don't have quality product, if it doesn't taste right, if it's separated, you'll never get them to buy two, three, four times. So Perennial brings that skill and the bench strength that I don't have. And rather than waiting around, um, I decided to join forces with one of Canada's leaders. And how do you intend to make your brand stand out? Stay tuned. No, we, uh, we're very, very excited about our activation plans and continued support plans. Uh, not so much packaging, because we're all uh, hand-tied by Health Canada, but it's uh, shelf positioning, uh, it's the partnership relationships we have with retail owners in Manitoba, in Alberta, uh, uh, etc. It's also pricing. Let's, let's make sure that we all understand this. Uh, you know, the $15 gram is very, very unique and will not be a big subset of the consumer base. You have to have it priced right. Uh, and, and that's where the Afria story can really shine. How prepared are you in terms of meeting the supply side concerns and your distribution? We, um, we're, we're allocating. Uh, we cannot service all provinces out of the box. But now with Ontario uh, delaying until April of 2019, the big surge order, which would have been 50% of the Canadian uh, requirement, uh, is gonna be, we, we suspect, uh, reduced only because it's online. So I think we're going to be okay now. But come Jan, February of 2019, when all my expansions come on board and uh, we're growing a lot of cannabis, by May of 2019, I'll be growing 20,000 kilos a month. Um, much more than our fair share of the recreational market and the medical market in Canada. So there could be a little uh, stopgap of, of uh, deficiency, but it won't, it'll be short-lived. It really will. Well, Vic, wish you all the best with all your plans. Thank you. Great, thank you.